Hey, Dad, can you do it? I can do it. You got to muscle through it. You got to stretch those muscles out and get on with it. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> think that's funny? Yeah, I do think that's funny. I think it's, that's hilarious that it's taken five days. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, buddy. What's good, guys? My pops laying down the law about recovering from workouts. That was a little fun over Christmas. But today, I found some footage, actually, of a push workout Let's go. Uh, that me and my brother Ben did over Christmas, and I'm going to take you through it. So push, chest, and shoulders, and triceps is what was trained today. You can see started out on the incline dumbbell press. And this is basically my bread and butter as far as pressing goes for chest, any type of pressing movement. Um, I used to bench press a lot, and I've just found that the angle and the contraction I can get um, doing an incline dumbbell press is far you know, optimal as compared to using the barbell. Um, and that's just a personal preference that I've noticed. Uh, from there, we went into um, the pec deck machine. And the pec deck machine is a, is a machine where you really want to make sure that you're not pushing the weight, guys. On that dumbbell press, I'm definitely looking to progressively overload the muscles, so increasing weight every week. Um, this exercise, I'm, I am looking to increase the weight, but I'm really, really more concerned with a really getting a really solid contraction. So you can see me really squeezing my chest um, and trying to use it to bring that weight into the middle. So from there, um, we went into a seated dumbbell press. And guys, if you're hitting a push workout like this, you're pretty taxed from that first um, set of four heavy uh, dumbbell presses. So when you get into this, um, shoulder press you're really making sure that your form isn't getting lazy keep your shoulders packed down make sure you get the depth of the dumbbells guys a lot of people stop way short of their ears essentially uh, with the dumbbells you know keep your keep your elbows forward and if you got to grind the last rep out grind it out um, and that's that's what you got to do so from there we went into um, a standing uh, side lateral raise and I actually got this uh, tip from Alberto Nunez, who's a really, really solid natural pro. Uh, look him up, Team 3DMJ. Um, but what he basically said is, look, you know, for biomechanics and the way that this exercise performed, try uh, leaning on an incline bench at a slight incline uh, to provide you some support. Um, this not only keeps you from swinging around and moving the weight all around, as we don't want to be tossing heavy weight around in this exercise, but it sets up your body in a comfortable angle uh, to optimally contract your, your medial deltoid. Uh, from there we moved into a tricep pushdown and went pretty heavy here. I really like this attachment uh, for whatever reason. It's, it's, it really allows you to get a good squeeze. Um, if you got this at your gym, definitely give it a shot. Um, but here you can see I'm keeping those elbows locked in position, guys. I'm not swinging around. That weight is, is moving um, as it should about the elbow joint. So this is another exercise where it's really easy to start swinging your arms all around your shoulders. Keep go. all that locked in. So moving into the final exercise, here's Ben, my little brother, hitting uh, this exercise. And this is another one that's pretty unconventional um, by most terms. This is actually the assisted pull-up or assisted dip machine. And we're using it uh, to do a chest movement. So we're actually pressing down, uh, keeping the elbows locked in and tight and really controlling the weight. And this is cool because it's allowing you, and you can see I zoomed in here, it's allowing you to use this neutral grip um, and kind of engage a different, uh, the chest in a very different way from, from where we're used to. So, I, you know, I recently just started giving this a shot. Um, if you've got one of these machines at your gym, definitely give it a look, see how it feels. You know, I feel like I can get a pretty good contraction and it also hits the tricep a little bit there, um, kind of as a finishing exercise towards the end of this workout. So that concludes that push workout, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the Pro Zika Lead Facebook page. Hit us up. Send us an email. Leave us a message. And until next time, Tremathias Pro Zika Lead out.